We've got a major it's bond issue that's due in March. Uh, they're not generating cash, at least as far as we know. Maybe they've, maybe they've ramped up production, and they are. Uh, but they have to go out and do a roadshow to uh, roll over these bonds. And how are you going to do that with your CEO doing what he's doing and having significant corporate governance issues? So at the very agree, least, they're going to have to pay a high sentiment. interest rate. You agree with the sentiment? Completely. It's uninvestable. Completely. Or you do a secondary once again. <laughs> Is it uninvestable? And that makes it uninvestable again. Look. I, I never like to use the word uninvestable. It's something that, for me personally, I, I don't want to take the, volatil uh, the volatility risk on. Um, could the stock rally? Yes, it could rally if on we what? get well, it rallies on there being adult in the room. And if Elon Musk were to, to step down temporarily or if someone to, would come in uh, to, to help him co-manage co okay, so, the operation. I mean, you're saying it's uninvestable until they get a, a new person running the company, are Basically, you not? Basically, sure. Okay, I'll say it if you won't. Thank you. What do you think about yeah, this? I mean, I just, I've always had a problem with evaluation, so I missed it, right? I mean, and I, I think it's a great product. There's no doubt about it. But to the extent that the CEO problems kind of escalate even further, does the product lose its cool factor? I don't think so, but that certainly is something to consider. And I just think that when you don't have a lot of confidence in a management team, it's very hard to invest. There's a lot of other companies I can invest in where I have confidence in the management and the execution, because it's not just these recent actions. It's been kind of this, he, he hasn't been very consistent with the execution over the last several years. The problem so, is you don't want to, you know, if you're a lot of research note is going into so much detail about everything other than the fundamentals of a company, right? right? Mm -hmm. They point out taunting short sellers, the New York Times interview, the cave diver accusation, earnings call outburst, Joe Rogan podcast. I mean, one of those would make you perhaps, you know, question where things are. You get six of them, and maybe if it's, if it's not investable, according to Nomura Incident Doc, is it tradable right now? It is tradable, Judge, but the problem is, of course, Mr. Musk himself, so we don't need to belabor that. But um, Mr. Musk doesn't have the levers to pull that Mr. Trump, the president, has. I mean, the president can roll back regulations. The president can, with the Congress, help pass ta tax reform and so forth, right? Those are what are driving our economy in a very strong way. Mr. Musk can't do that for Tesla. So they both have a problem with communication um, to the public, some of which is inappropriate. And when that happens, Mr. Musk is just in a world of hurt, whereas the president has the tailwind of the earnings that are that have been so strong regulations that have been rolled back and of course like we said taxes uh, that is how he's able to overcome it mr musk doesn't have any of those available to him